Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. We are playing the Torture House. Um, and as you can see, this is for the fetish hardcore amongst you. Real deaths, ultra-violence, violent entertainment, no censorship or cuts, brutal murders on camera. Extreme survival show for your pleasure. Let's get started. For your best experience, yeah, yeah, play in the dark, play alone, Look, lock the doors and the windows. Make sure you don't have anything locked. Anything locked with you? What does that mean? Make sure you don't have anything locked with you? Make sure no one is filming you without your consent. Survive, even if death seems the easiest way. Okay. I'll take those hints. This is from Skippy Games. Skippy Studios. Not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, getting sore vibes already. In September 1994, Victoria Atkins, a young aspiring model, was traveling through Cook County, Texas, in search of a job opportunity when she suddenly disappeared. While it was initially believed she had simply become lost on the road, days passed without any sign of her. But what no one could imagine were the horrors of the ultraviolence she would experience in a place that could easily be described as hell, the torture house. I'm exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. My key has the number 107. Okay. Wow. This... Okay. Plain as her now. Here we go. The garage door. I don't need to go back. Can we look in our car? No, we cannot. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a sign there. Apparently not. Just in the parking garage. Alright. I can't go into other people's rooms. Don't need to use the stairs. Are we staying at a hotel then? I would assume so. Um, what was our number again? Was it 107, did you say? I think it was down here, right? 107? Is that right? I could be wrong. It's my room, 107. It's locked. The key is in my pocket. Um, okay, do we have an inventory? Um, hmm. Yes, the key is in my pocket. But I don't know how <laughs> to access my key. Um, hmm. Yes. How would I get my key? Let's look at the controls. Interact. Yes. Shift. Oh, right. Of course. There you go. Don't like that I've got a health bar. Don't like that. Oh, and the door... Oh, I see. We just slide through the door. I'm finally here. Where's the bedroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. Alright. Caution. Maintenance in progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. For your safety, please do not enter. That seems sketchy as hell. If I am indeed... How do I... Okay. Oh, right, okay. Just a few f fiddly keys here. I should put my things away in the bedroom before checking the rooms. Okay, let's do that. Um, well, there's the little kitchenette area. Yeah, I'm not liking that you just push through the doors. Put down the backpack. Okay. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. Oh, what letter? Dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I heard from you, so I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time, so it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl, and how hard it is to find an opportunity for this type of work that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Your friends always ask about you. You should write to them, too. I always hear them telling others how you took your car and set off on your adventure to chase your dream of being a model like in Hollywood movies. Oh, I guess now I, don't, I know why you don't write to them. I know you don't want to disappoint them. Mum and Dad are fine. 
Mum misses you, and Dad doesn't talk about m much about you. You know how he disapproved of your idea, but he loves you. And I love you too, future Miss America. With love from your sister, Lauren. Okay. I miss you all. I've been on the road for like four hours. I have to take a shower. Hmm. As the thunderstorm strikes. It, this isn't. This surely isn't the torture house that the, the title of the game is referring to, right? It's off. Doesn't look like it has a power button. I need a remote control to turn it on. Crap modern TV. Hmm. The music's disappeared. So, I am an aspiring model. I take it this is the bathroom? Oh. And I unlocked it with my key. Oh. I dreamed of being a model, but not in men's magazines. Well... Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. Oh. It's just sitting in a bathtub. Letting the water rise. Sure. Surely you'd fill the bathtub first and then get in. Hmm. I feel like something terrible is about to happen. Oh. What is that? I hear some knocking. I think this is giving me a false sense of security here. Or... It's trying to... No? Okay. Oh, what was that? Ouch! Ah. A key? Hmm. I need to get my clothes from my backpack. Where did the clothes that I was wearing go originally? All right. Game logic. Um, is this a key for this door? Ah. The maintenance room, hey? Oh. Uh-oh. A table with some tools. Is that... I don't know, it's just an old ladder. What is this? Is this oil or blood? I have to be careful not to end up falling into this hole. There's a hole in the room? No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We're locking this door again. And here's the remote control for the TV. Okay. Um, yeah, can we... Let's lock this door, right? Can we... Can we... Can we lock it now? Can we... No. The key has disappeared. Of course it has. No ghosts or ghoulies are going to come up from that pit. In the <laughs> why would why would there be a hole? Surely, if this is a ho I, I'm guessing I'm in a hotel. It hasn't categorically staked that I'm in a hotel, but I'm assuming a hotel. So this is surely going down to the levels below. It's off. Doesn't look like it has a power button. I need, I, I've got the remote control. Um, ah, what are we watching here? I'm a real live, warm-hearted Texas girl. Sides, of course, with 48,000 square feet of floor space. Is this like 80s porn? This is also the hangout for a new breed, the urban cowboy. Oh, yeah, I gotta do some blind dancing. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Uh, it's a guy that drives a pickup truck. That, uh, has a Just in case there's um, some copyright on that, I will go and get my clothes from my bag. What? Where are my clothes? I haven't. I kind of forgotten them. Uh, this can't be happening. <sighs> I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this one in the wash. I think I can wear this one for one more night. Okay. But my... The clothes that I had on originally. I see. Okay. People, People enjoy uh, seeing cowboy boots, a cowboy hat. I mean, it reflects Texas. Let's, let's let it it's almost it. empty. I should stay here for more days than I expected, so I need to buy some things to eat. On. I'll think about it later. I still have some snacks in my backpack. So are we meant to eat now? I'm going to get something to eat. I don't need to take anything out of my backpack. Okay. Design so, prayers. what are we Under doing then? Are we just... Heels, pointed toes, and belts with your name on it are the fashion wear for urban cowboys. Outsiders made... I'm an urban cowboy! Hooey! They don't have to think twice to tell you why. Because I'm a pure redneck. I was born a Texan, I live a Texan. And you're proud of it? I'm proud so what are we meant to be doing now then? We've already had a bath. Are we just going to bed? Not Let's turn off the TV. I like your cowboy hat. You do. Ah, uh, thank you. I, I sort of like you. No? Ah. I don't have anyone's call right now. Oh, there's knocking on the door. 
Of course, not all of these mm. people were born here, but still, they are Texans. Urban Hello? Cowboys. No one here, but a message has been left. Someone stuck a note on the door. Hmm. Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage to prevent flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal by morning. Isolate the parking garage? Does that mean I can't leave? What does that mean? Vic, are you... What does that mean? Do I need to go to the garage? Let's try and go to the garage. It's all flooded down there. Okay. Um... So I'm trapped here then for the moment. Okay, no problem. Getting all the attention. Well, they're getting attention, you know. As long as no one's coming up from the hole. I mean, surely I must get a discounted rate on this or something. I was a cowboy. I would be calling the the maintenance guy, or I'd be calling, you know, downstairs. To complain that there's a goddamn massive hole in the room. The man who did so much for disco will strike again on the country scene. I rolled the ball. Does as much or just a portion for country music as he did for disco. It's gonna make country music. Looking in the mirror makes me nervous. Am I pretty enough? Will they like me? It's better for me not to put these things in my head. I know I'll manage. You can do it, Victoria. I have faith in you. It's like a 54 Club that, uh, in New York that John did the disco thing with. Paramount picture, Paramount Pictures. I guess I'm just watching the TV. John Travolta put Pasadena on the map. Everybody out here right now is the same as, the same as we've always been. We've always come out here like this. And they'll continue to come out here looking like this, where a kicker can feel right comfortable. And Mickey Gilly's tunes get the whole room hooting and hollering. It may be the set for a movie right now. Am I falling asleep here? Is that what's happening? Oh, I think I am. Okay. It's been a long day. Been on the road, you know. Four hours driving. It's going to stress you out. Oh, I had a door open. Oh, no. Damn. I must have fallen asleep. Well, then I guess it's time to go to bed. Can I make something in the kitchen first? Apparently not. No? What am I meant to do? Uh, the door numb must have jammed. I shouldn't go in here anyway. Okay. Back in the bathroom? Have another bath? Have a shit? Shit, shower, and shave. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's not good. But I just came out there. There was no one out here. There was literally no one out here. Someone playing games with me. Someone playing games. Is the uh, garage still flooded? Yeah. Have I gone down this? Let's go try... No, it's just the... Hmm. Oh! Chad from Cal 31. Blockbusters from the Spawn Ranch for donation when they stumbled upon something disturbing. Amateur videos of victims of group torture and death recorded by the Manson family responsible for the murder of actress Sharon Tate in August 1969 were discovered. The tapes have been forwarded to the Los Angeles Police Department to be archived as evidence of the crime. Right. My arms. I can't move them. Okay. I seem to be in a coffin. Uh, oh, now the coffin. Push E. Okay, am I tapping it? Or am I just pushing it that time? 
Um, it's a different type of bath that I'm used to. But okay. Am I dying? Is this it? What the hell? Yes, I'm trying. Uh-oh. Did that mean I died? Am I playing now her as a... No. I thought the perspective would shift to her sister, Lauren. But, um, no. I guess we're in a torture house now. Um, things are being recorded. Oh, and we're in control. It's extremely dirty and stinks of piss. The radio. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's never a good thing. I guess I busted out of the... What do we got? Machine here. A dusty old machine. I have no idea what this is for. It seems to have a chain making it work. I better not touch it while it's in motion. Okay. Ah. Yes. A nice drawing of a window there. Uh, I'm not liking this. That guy that came out... Oh, I see. We're just busting through the doors again. He was tall. That was a tall guy. It's locked from the other side. What about this door? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a... Yeah, that's a hole right there. Audition. All the spotlights are on you. Now you're an actress, and your fans are eager to see you perform. Eyes are watching you from all directions. Live the spectacle. Sometimes it's necessary to give your life for the theatre. Complete your scene, and you're one step closer to becoming an actress. Fail, and nobody will miss a mediocre actress. Script. Alice chased the rabbit through the forest until she fell into its hole, which I've just done now. She found herself in a room with a small door, but Alice wonders how she will manage to go get through it. This is a challenge she will need to solve. Okay. So we're uh, playing as Alice through the looking glass, huh? That's my role? I shall embellish the role of Alice. I like these, like, <laughs> fake windows with the sun. Um, okay, so there's a nice little mattress fall here. I'm, a, I'm an actress. I'm a stunt woman as well in my spare time. Is this the tiny door that I need to go through? Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow. That is small. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Barbed wire. Oh, that's not good. Don't get... <laughs> Don't let the barbed wire hit you. Okay. Yeah, very sore-like. And we're through. Good times. How's my health looking? Did I have five bars before? I'm not entirely sure. These look like painkillers, yeah. What is this? It seems to be some kind of painkiller. Okay. Wow, experimental. Reduction in combat of physical and mental distress. Increases in serotonin and noradrenaline levels to combat mental distress and stabilize the individual, along with other substances, rectified for mood stabilization and anxiety relief. Combats physical pains and aids in the healing and recovery of the individual. Sharpens the senses. Brings about a temporary ultra-focus effect. Side effects. Organism rejection may cause hallucinations, numbness, and in the long term, significant loss of vocal cords, panic attacks, seizures, and psychosis. So, do I take this? I'm, uh, I'm just going to hold on to this for now. I've got... Yes. Let's use the radio to save. That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a very good idea. It's locked. And we've got a garage here. Where does this lead to? There seems to be a power box on the left. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not working. Okay. Am I going to have to find a fuse, perhaps? A lot of locked doors. Not liking all the locked doors. Oh, this one's open. Oh. Okay. Ah, a pit trap, you say, hey? Another locked door. Oh, what is this? Script. The rabbit seemed restless, euphoric, frequently checking his watch as he ran through the Valley of Uncertainty. After crossing paths of Alice, his instinct was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed, the more distorted his surroundings appeared, until in the blink of an eye, an obstacle appeared in his path. Only the rabbit's scream echoed and could be heard by Alice. Soon a lesson she had learned. 
When a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. Okay. So, hang on. There is a... It's very dark, but there is a plank here. Are you saying if I run across this, it'll break? That's what I'm getting. That's the feeling I'm getting. Let's just walk it then. Let's just walk it and see what happens. And what is that? What the hell is that? Oh! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. You died. <laughs> you were just a mere second-rate actress. A complete failure. Well, I'm glad that the radio was there that we saved the game. Okay, I think we're on the right track, though, with the not running thing. I'm just gonna try it. I am just gonna try running. Can I run? Yes, I can. Right, let me just try running. I think I'm gonna die, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So the script is giving us... Okay, okay. The script is giving us clues. Which I like. I, I do like that. The thing behind me with the red light, that, that unnerved me before, because I wasn't expecting to see the thing behind me. So we're just going to have to be confident and walk. And hopefully get to the other side. There's a door there, so we'll get through the door and then see how that works. Okay, here we go. Just walking, avoiding the red light, not looking at you, now running. Oh, there we go, Jesus. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, God damn. We got numbers on the wall, we got seven, one, four, five. Ah. Ah. Hmm. I have an idea of what's going to happen here. Is this great meant to do any- oh, can I don't do anything? This looks like maybe a little- okay. We've got a key, and another script. There's another piece of script stuck on the door. Alice found herself trapped in that world, devoid of faith. The sky was falling. She looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces around her. Her hand had been cut by the first fragment, leaving a blood stain. Right, I saw a blood stain on one of the... Right, followed by a more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one. Her escape was right in front of her, while she was consumed by hatred and suffocated by the fragments of her key that seemed to mock her situation. Was it delirium, or just the frenzy of madness that sighed from that place? Okay. The door is locked. It looks like it has a code lock. Right, so, hang on. Okay. Good to know. So, four, four, one, seven, five, four, one, seven, five. Let's try that, because the blood stain, four, one, seven, five. No, four, one, five, seven. No, four, five, one, uh, yes. Ha, 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 ha. Right. We got a key, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. Oh, where's that guy gone? Is he just disappeared? Oh, this door's open now. Okay. It's locked. Um, yeah, do I... Will this open it? Yes. What have we got here? A screwdriver. Okay. Well, can I arm myself with the screwdriver? It's full of old, pa old papers and documents. I can't read much. There's a photo of a girl tied up with a gun to her head. She looks devastated. There's another photo of a girl tied up with tape around her arms and mouth. Why are all these monsters doing this to me? I need to get out of this place. Yes. Just some old papers. Oh, got a filing cabinet. Ah, another key. Machinery room key, okay. Have we, was that the one where we first, was the machine room where I was first based? I don't know. More cabinets though. Nothing in there? I mean, I got a screwdriver and a key, so... Can I arm myself with the screwdriver, perhaps? Because I got a feeling. I got a feeling. No. So, that was the... Oh, and no. Can't go back that way. Okay. I think it's time to save. Let's save the game. Yes, thank you. I've got a key now. 
Does this open this door? It does. Okie dokie. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, this must be the machine room. It doesn't seem to be broken. The chain is missing. Ah, right, I see. It's very rusty. It seems like it hasn't been working for years. So we have to go back to get the chain from... If I can reach inside. What have I got? Will the screwdriver work? Oh, it does. Pokey, pokey, pokey! Oh, this is going up, though. Oh. Oh, there's a camera there. There's a wire mesh block in the way. It looks like there's a camera on the other side. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. What does that mean? Oh, what is, what is going on here? Is this like woodlands? That just unlocked. Right. So this is where we were before. Okay. So we need, yeah, we need to go back down. Because there was a chain on here, wasn't there? While it's in motion. So can I use my screwdriver on it? Yes, I can. Now, use the chain on the machine. I don't know what that will do, though. What will the chain do on the machine? I'm going to save it again. Because I've got a... I've got a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to get chased very soon. So... If we go back in through the woods... I didn't explore down here. No, there was nothing there. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to go down here. Will that just lead me down to the machine where I was before? I think it will. Oh, but I can't go down there anyway. There is a door there, though. That's interesting. Okay. I shouldn't run through these doors. Um, so the machine room was here. Let's put... Yeah. Okay, let's use the chain. What is that doing now? It's working now. Ah, will that be for the, the grate? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like it. Save him. <laughs> Save him. Okay. Does that mean that's working? Oh. Oh. Can't get me! I'm the gingerbread man. I'm the rabbit. I just have to run past. I just have to run around this <laughs> crate for so long. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is that shutter so slow? Come on. All right, one more time around. One more time around, and I'm gone, baby. I'm out of here. That's right. Wow. Ooh, that was quite tense. Um, tuned radio 15 times. To be continued. Facts are plain. Did you enjoy it? I did. I did. Well, there you go, guys. That was the Torture House. That was Chapter 1, and I'm very intrigued as to where Chapter 2 will be going. Will we be following Victoria as she tries to escape from the masked serial killer type person? Or will we be following a different character? Maybe Lauren's going to try and find her sister um, as she goes on her travels. Um, yeah, I really like that. It, it the, the first segment where we booked into the hotel um, seemed to convey the tropes of hey you're getting in a bath something might happen hey the door's knocking someone might be there it was subverting the expectations of what you typically find in these type of games which i did appreciate and then when the guy did come out of the bedroom um yeah it, it that got me i did like that when we were actually in the torture house i liked the saw like premise with the different rooms with the different traps the first one the barbed wire um just playing like in the mini game there the second one with the well the first one sorry was with the walking the beam i did like the fact that you had this sadistic person who's watching your every move and has a script with alice through the looking glass or alice in wonderland um but it's giving you the clues um so you know not to run across the beam at the first one um the the the, <laughs> the number one which I only got because of the blood on the first one and the rest was just a guessing game really um 
Yeah, and they're kind of old Resident Evil style, collecting the screwdriver to use on the machine parts. And at the end, just running around the box to survive. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was really good. Um, I'm looking forward to the next chapter. And I hope you are too. If you are, I will leave the link in the description below. You can play this for yourself. Maybe there's something I missed. Um, or maybe you could give your own feedback on this. Leave a like or dislike to the video. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.